Hey, God bless you all. Today at midnight, tonight at midnight, kicks off our seven days in the garden with God. You know, before Jesus took the cross, he went to the garden to pray and he asked a few of his disciples to spend time with him. And I think he just probably wanted someone to share his burden. We're at a time now when God is going to bring judgment to the world and it's more difficult for him than the cross because he's going to lose some of his children. Many will be saved during the tribulation, but he's going to lose some and it's difficult for God. So we have an opportunity right now to spend time with him in the garden. So during these seven days, what the focus is, is looking to share God's heart. To kick this off, God placed a poem on my heart. So I'm going to read that to you. And my hope is that it helps to give you the right perspective as we kick this off. I find myself in the garden kneeling with the king. A sound moves through creation and I hear his heart breaking, tears falling down, the face of a lion, the face of a warrior, and the ruler of Zion. Mourning the loss of each fallen child, remembering every tender moment, every soft smile. Every day, even from before their birth, he knew them and wanted desperately for their return. He called to them in every possible way, gave them grace while he took the grave. To him, even the most lost is still his kid, a prodigal son that he so desperately missed. His voice echoes in the darkness and he pours out his heart. Why won't they hear me? It's tearing me apart. I don't know what to say. He already knows all things. I just hope winter passes quickly. Soon it will be spring. The time of testing will be over and where fire scorched the earth will be lines of wild flowers giving rise to a new birth of a world without sadness and a world without pain, a world without the horrors of sin's awful stain. I think this to myself, but it does no good to say. Now's a time to mourn for those who won't find their way back home again to the place he died to prepare a place that would have waited for them if they'd only cared I find myself in the garden kneeling with the king a sound moves through creation and I hear his heart breaking tears falling down the face of a lion the face of a warrior and the ruler of Zion He cries for the lost and he cries for their pain. He cries because they will choose hell, death, and shame. Come to me, my children, and I will heal it all. But he knows the ending and they would rather fall. His judgment is his mercy and his grace. Without it, many would never see his face. They would have slept until they tasted death, never wondering who had given them breath, addicted to phones, television, vanity, and idols, in a world outlawing prayer and banning Bibles, never bothering to ask the real hard thing like, how did I get here and what does sin bring? Why is life painful and why does death sting? I don't want to do it. They want time, I'll give more. But I must, as his groan turns to a roar, sin is growing and will destroy like a sickness. I must act now and put an end to this wickedness. I find myself in a garden, kneeling with the king. A sound moves through creation and I hear his heart breaking, tears falling down the face of a lion the face of a warrior and the ruler of Zion. My God, my father, what can I do? How can I help? I want to see you smiling, laughing and happy again. I'll sit here as long as you need and I'll be your friend. Thank you for all you've done and all you give for being so full of love and quick to forgive. I love your heart and the way you are. Every part of you, every mark, every scar, you did it all 
took the cross and the lashings, the thorns and the kicks and the bashings. I know what you gave and I'm eternally grateful. I'm sorry they don't know you. I'm sorry they're hateful. Isn't there something I could do to ease your pain? Something I could say that would reduce the strain? He looked at me and then a smile crossed his face. You bring me happiness and you can't be replaced. You are my bride. You're the joy set before me at the end of this race. But there's a time for all things and for now, it's sadness. But soon there will be rejoicing and great songs of gladness. We will dance for eternity and I'll never let you go. We'll run the streets of the kingdom and sail the seas of heaven. We'll laugh till we fall down and eat enough for seven. But just sit with me for now and let us lament over those who would choose death and wouldn't believe that I was sent to save them. Oh, I want to save them, my child. Let's sit here and we'll get up in a while. I find myself in the garden, kneeling with the king. A sound moves through creation and I hear his heart breaking, tears falling down the face of a lion, the face of a warrior and the ruler of Zion. There's nothing else to do. So I sit with him and I cry. For every lost soul, for everyone who will die, it's about to begin and it will be like nothing ever seen. Man will see where sin leads when it's unrestrained, when it's left unchecked and free to remain in control of the world. But it's only for a time. Soon it will end, then a new world will begin. I look forward to that, Jesus says with a wink, as a tear trails down his cheek, and I shudder to think what he endures.